Here we have a simple binary tree, and to print it level by level means that we first print one, then a new line, then we print two and three, new line, four, five, six, new line, seven, new line. To do this, we will use a queue, and the idea is to have all of the nodes in the queue that are at a specific level, and then have a special delimiter which indicates that when we encounter a delimiter, we're, we're done with this level, so we print a new line. And then all the nodes that are in the queue are those in the next level. So we add another delimiter to indicate that once we reach that delimiter, we have printed the nodes of that level, so we print a new line. And we keep doing this until the queue becomes empty. Let's see this with this simple tree. So we first push to the queue the root of the tree 1, and because we know that this is the only node at the first level, we push the delimiter to the queue. And now we begin by setting the current node to the front of the queue, so 1. We pop the front of the queue, we print 1, and then we add the left child to the queue, followed by the right child. Then we go back to the queue and we set current to the front of the queue. This time it is a delimiter, so of course we pop it. And this indicates that we're done with the current level, so we need to print a new line. And the nodes that are in the queue are those that are of the next level. So we add a delimiter to indicate that when we're done with them, we want to print another new line. So we go back to the queue and we set current to the front of the queue. Two. We pop the front of the queue, we print it to this time on a new line, and we add the left child to the queue, four, and then the right child, five. We go back to the queue and we set current to the front of the queue, so three. We pop the front of the queue, we print the three, and we add the left child, but 3 doesn't have a left child, and we add the right child to the queue. Then we go back to the queue and we set current to the front of the queue. We pop the front of the queue. This time current is a delimiter, so again we're done with this level, so what we do, we print a new line, and the nodes that are in the queue are those of the next level, so we add another delimiter to the queue. We go back to the queue and we set current to the front of the queue, so 4. We pop the front of the queue, we print the 4, then 4 doesn't have children, so we're done with it. We go back to the queue, we set current to the front of the queue, so 5. We pop the front of the queue, we print the 5, and 5 doesn't have children, so we're done with it. We go back to the queue, we set current to the front of the queue, 6. We pop the front of the queue, we print the 6, and we add the left child to the queue, and the right child, there is no right child. So we go back to the queue and we set current to the front of the queue. We pop the front of the queue, this time current is a delimiter, so again we're done with this level, we print a new line, and we want to add another delimiter indicate that the next level, which is the 7, also will need to have a new line after it. Again, we go to the queue, we set current to the front of the queue, so 7. We pop the front of the queue, we print the 7, and 7 doesn't have children, so we're done with 7. We go back to the queue and we set current to the front of the queue. We pop the front of the queue. Because current is a delimiter, we print a new line. But this time, the queue is empty. This indicates that there is no more next level. And so we're done. The final output is therefore 1, new line, 2, 3, new line, 4, 5, 6, new line, 7, new line, which indeed is a level by level printing of this binary tree. Let's see how to implement this. So first of all, we have here a delimiter, which we will represent with a constant whose value is null. Now is this a good value for the delimiter? We know that our queue will have valid addresses to nodes, 
so they are guaranteed to be not null, which means that we can distinguish a delimiter from a node. So this is a valid, this is a good value for the delimiter. Then let's move to the function. Our function is called print level by level, which takes the address to the root node and returns nothing. The first thing we want to do is check if root is null, because if root is null, the tree is empty and there is nothing to print. So if root is null, we return. But if it is not null, we initialize our queue and we push the root followed by the delimiter. Then we enter a while loop from which we will exit within the body. Now notice that the first time we enter in the while loop, the queue has the root and the delimiter, so it is not empty. And then within the body of the loop, we will make sure that if the queue becomes empty, we break out of the loop. So we have the guarantee that at the beginning of the loop, the queue will not be empty. So we can safely access the front of the queue and pop the front of the queue. So we set the current node to the front of the queue. Then we pop the front of the queue and we check if current is different from the delimiter. In that case, we will print current followed by a space so that all the nodes on the same level will appear separated by spaces. Then we check does it have a left child and if it does we add it to the queue. So current left is different from null. Push it to the queue. And then we check does it have a right. So current right is different from null. Then we push it to the queue. Then, if current is equal to the delimiter, what we need to do, as we saw, is to print a new line. Then we need to check if the queue became empty. Because if it did, this means that we just printed the last level of the queue of the tree. And so we're done. So if Q is empty, we break out of the loop. But if not, it means that it still has all of the nodes of the next level. So what we do, we will add a delimiter to indicate that after we printed all of those nodes, we want to have a new line. So notice that if current is different from the delimiter, once we go back to the beginning of the loop, we have the guarantee that we still have in the queue at least the delimiter, so it is not empty. So if this happens, when we go back to the beginning, the queue is guaranteed not to be empty. On the other hand, if this happens, if current is equal to the delimiter, then if the queue is empty, so if this was the delimiter of the last level, we break. But if not, then we add the delimiter. And so when we go back to the beginning, we again have all of the nodes of the current level followed by the delimiter. So again, the queue is not empty. So as I've said before, at the beginning of the loop, we have the guarantee that the queue will not be empty. So these operations front and pop are safe to do. And that's our function. Let's verify that it works by running through an example. Here we have the same binary tree we've seen before with root one. So we call our function print level by level passing root one and we check is it different is it null one is different from null so we initialize our queue then we push the queue root so one and then we push the delimiter we enter our loop and we set current to the front of the queue one we pop the front of the queue and we check current different from the delimiter, yes. We print current followed by space, so one. Then 
We check, does it have a left? The left of 1 is 2, so we push it to the queue. Does it have a right? The right of 1 is 3, so we push it to the queue. We go back to the beginning of the loop where we set current to the front of the queue. This time, the limiter. Pop the front of the queue. Now, current is equal to the limiter. We go to the else. We print a new line. It was not empty, which means that we push at the limiter. We go back to the beginning and we set current to the front of the queue to we pop the front of the queue. Current is different from the delimiter. We print it. Current left is different from null because it's a four, so we print. Push it to the queue. Current right is also different from null, so we push it to the queue. We go back to the beginning of the loop. We set current to the front of the queue. We pop the front of the queue. It's different from a delimiter. We print it. We check, does 3 have a left? No, so we don't do anything. Does it have a right? Yes. So we push it to the queue. We go back to the beginning of the loop. We set current to the front of the queue. We pop the front of the queue. Now this time current is a delimiter, so we go to the else. We print a new line. Check is the queue empty? The queue is not empty. So we push the delimiter. Go back to the beginning of the loop. Set current to the front of the queue. Four. Pop the front of the queue. Different from delimiter. Print current. Doesn't have a left. The four doesn't have a left. It also doesn't have a right, so we don't do anything. We go back here. Set current to the front of the queue, 5. We pop the front of the queue. It's different from null. We print current. The left of 5 is null. The right of 5 is also null, so we don't do anything. Go back here. Set current to the front of the queue, 6. Pop the front of the queue. It's different from the limiter. Print current. The left of 6 is 7, so it's different from null. We push it to the queue. The right of 6 is null, so we don't do anything. We go back here, set current to the front of the queue. We pop the front of the queue. Current is a delimiter, so we go to the else. We print a new line. We check is the queue empty. The queue is not empty, so we push the delimiter. We go back here, set current to the front of the queue. Seven. We pop the front of the queue. It's different from the limiter. We print current. Seven doesn't have a left, seven doesn't have a right. We go back here, set current to the front of the queue, pop the front of the queue. This time we have a delimiter, so we go to the else, we print a new line. And this time the queue is empty, so we break out of this loop, we go here, and we exit our function. So the final output is 1, new line, 2, 3, new line, 4, 5, 6, new line, 7, new line, which indeed is correct. Let's analyze the time complexity of this function. Initially, we do some constant amount of work, then we enter this while loop. So let's try to understand how much work we're doing in this while loop. First of all, how many times will this uh, condition be true and we will execute this body of the if? So if you look inside what we're doing, we're printing current because current is different from the limiter. So it's a node. 
we know that the tree has, that has n nodes will have all of the nodes printed exactly once. So each node will be printed once. So this condition will be true at most, will be true exactly n times, and we will end up executing this n times because we need to print n nodes. Because the amount of work we do inside is constant, the amount of work associated with this if will be all n overall. Now, what about the else? The else executes when current is equal to the delimiter. In the worst case, if we have a tree with n nodes, we will have one node per line, per level. So we will have to print n new lines. So we will have n delimiters. So the else will execute at most n times. And the amount of work we do inside is constant. So again, the work associated with the else overall will be O of n. Now, because this condition will be true exactly n times, and this at most n times, overall, this while loop will execute at most 2 n times. So this will execute at most 2 n times, and this is constant amount of work. So overall, again, the work associated with this will be O of n which means that the total work with this loop will be all of n, and so the time complexity of this function is all of n. Let's now analyze the space complexity. It will depend on the maximum size that our queue will reach. We know that at any point in time before the queue is empty, it has the delimiter, and then it either has all of the nodes of a specific level, or it has the starting nodes of one level and the ending nodes of the previous level. The worst case happens when the queue has all the nodes in the last level of a binary tree that has all the levels filled. In that case, the queue would have n half nodes, and so the space complexity is O of n. You can find the link to the code in the description below.